what's happening people welcome to another video with all souls now if you've seen the unboxing review of this new nothing 2a make sure you check it out on my previous video i've done a couple of videos with this now i was waiting for the professionals to tear this down so that didn't come so as this was sitting on my desk i thought why not do a wish version of a teardown all sort style as you saw from the title and early in the video, we do have a problem with this phone. So if you have any other ideas on what I should do, let me know in the comment section below. But this is Nothing's budget smartphone. Let's get started. Previously, I've done loads of teardowns, but they were with fake smartphones. So I thought, why not try it out with an original smartphone? After waiting for a few teardowns of this phone, I couldn't find a video. So I thought, why not do it myself? So I applied some heat on the back panel and used my razor blade. Now I know I might not be doing this properly, but this is the first time I'm actually doing it on an original smartphone. And like I said before, this is the Wish version teardown of this smartphone. So don't expect everything to go nice and smooth. After a bit of heat and cutting through the DC, we finally took off the back panel. I thought it was glass, but it ended up being plastic. At first glance, I thought there was only a few screws at the top and a few screws at the bottom. But in my surprise, there was a few hidden screws as well. So let's take off the top screws, then the bottom, and then I'll show you where the hidden screws are. The bottom panel was easy to take off, which showed the battery. It was the top panel which had some hidden screws, one where the camera is, and the next one was where the sticker ring is, which I took off and took off the hidden screws, which were Phillips. After taking off the last hidden screw, the panel was connected to the smartphone, and this is for the cliff light. So after taking off, the Lego piece, we took off the back panel where it shows you the glyph lights and here it is. Should I count all the LED lights? Let me know if you want to see that in the next video. It's a two camera lens setup, both 50 megapixel, main camera being OIS and the ultra wide camera is not. The back of the battery did reveal that it is 5000 mAh and my favourite part is next where I take off all the LEGO connectors. There was nothing else connecting the motherboard to the phone but taking off this sticker it revealed the chip. Here you can see the front 32 megapixel camera. After laying out all the panels, I thought I might take this further and take all the circuit board, the battery and the bottom components out. But I know I would destroy this phone straight away. But I was in for a surprise at the end of the video when I switched this phone on. So I thought that's it. Time to put this phone back together. After putting all the Lego connectors back together, I was going to put the panels on, but instead I put the back panels and actually looked good. And I thought, why not have a transparent uh, back, nothing phone 2A. But this is where the problem started. As I was putting in the screws, I didn't know at the time, but it must have hit the front of the screen and you'll see at the end what happened. But taking a look at the phone, while it's transparent, it looks so much better than the previous. Yes, you are lo losing the glyph lights, but in my opinion, I think this looks, looks so much better. What are your thoughts? Would you leave the phone like this or would you leave it as the original state? Let me know in the comments.
Now for the moment of truth. You should have seen my face when I switched this on. Check the top of the screen out. Now I know what happened is while I was screwing in the screws, I must have went straight through onto the screen and that's how we cracked the screen. But I was just thinking, let's see if all the touch screen is actually working. So after switching it on and taking a look at the back, I actually like the back, it's growing on me. I won't put the rest of the panels in. But after turning on the screen, everything actually worked on it, the cameras, the touch screen, there was nothing wrong with the phone, so I can still actually use it. So if you have any other ideas on what I should do with this smartphone, let me know in the comments. Should I do, well, there's no point in doing a water test as I've already uh, teared it down, so that would be invalid. But overall, the phone still works, so I'm pretty happy. And I now have a transparent nothing phone 2A. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to tear down any other smartphones, the Wish version, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you again for another video. Let me know your thoughts of the teardown in the comments.